those of you that watch my channel know that I collect Game Boys and Game Boy Colors, Game Boy Advances, etc. Well, I was looking on eBay a couple days ago, and I saw something that intrigued me. And I thought it would be a good addition to my collection. So I purchased it, and I was waiting for it to show up, and in the mail today, it finally arrived. So let's take a look. Let's see, you know, party. The box and uh, here's first part and here's second part. Nothing else in there. No. So let me check my scissors and unwrap the, this guy first. Uh, maybe I can just get it with the tape. We have, put that over there, we have Desert Strike Advanced, for the Game Boy Advanced, and we have Legend of Zelda, for the Game Boy. You can probably guess what is in the other bubble wrapped box part. So let's go and unwrap this all the way. And <clears throat> it's a little bit scratched on the top, but that can be cleaned up. Uh, there seems to be some sort of film on the Nintendo logo, it's probably the, oh, wow, the, uh, the peel away has never been removed from the logo. So if you flip it over, you can see it is an AGS 101. These are semi-rare because they were produced at the end of the Game Boy's life and people weren't really wanting to buy it, they wanted to get the DS, DS Lite. So they didn't sell that well. And let's see what's the other game inside. It is, ooh, uh, Mega Man Battle Chip Challenge. I did, that actually, this guy was included in the auction, along with Zelda. But the auction showed the Zelda game and Mega Man, but it didn't mention Desert Strike Advanced. So that's a good bonus. Now, I don't remember if they said that it was charged. Uh, let's see. It is, and as you can see, the two levels of brightness, the normal brightness, and the high brightness. Other than having some uh, little surface scratches, it's in really good condition for what I paid and what, for what these go for. And kind of nice that the little <laughs> Nintendo logo is uh, still protected. Let's pop in one of the games. Let's go with uh, Desert Strike Advanced. And... Let's pop in one of the games. Let's go with uh, Desert Strike Advanced. So, I don't know. So that, that game seems to work. And let's see. Uh, so the shoulder buttons seem to work. Uh, let's try the next game. That's gonna be uh, Mega Man uh, Battle Chip Challenge. Let's 
trying to play it through a viewfinder, so let's take this tray up. Seems to start. Oh, let's see what continue does. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit hard to play from. So that one works. Now let's try Zelda, because that's actually one of the other games that I was looking forward to getting. So pop the card in, turn it on, and we can test the shoulder buttons. Shoulder buttons work. Cart works just fine. Link's Awakening, and huh, there's already a save game. So that's cool. Uh, so this has been a quick little video. Um, and uh, this has been Zesty Panda. If you liked this, uh, thumbs it up. If you didn't, thumbs it down. Leave a comment down below. There's some, eh, some light damage to the case, but I mean, I can do a shell swap. It doesn't really matter to me. But yeah, if you liked it, thumbs it up. If you didn't, thumbs it down. Drop a comment down below, and uh, have an awesome day.